Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a very exciting video. It's all about shoes. Let's talk about shoes, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Sorry, I am being silly here. Please do not mind me. So now I feel like I can make a video about shoes. So to this video, it's all about the 10 essential summer shoes that you need in your closet. I am very very excited about this video because I have never been much of a shoe girl before. I've always been more about clothes. When it comes to shoes, I've always been happy with having five pair of shoes, a pair of pumps, a pair of flats, and typically I would wear the same shoe every day in the summertime until it's time to buy a new one. So I'll have a pair of sandals, a pair of little block heel, which is my preference, and that's about it. But over the last couple of years, since I've associated myself with the, the ultimate shoe girl, Manuel, she kind of like rubbed off, you know, on me a little bit. And also, I've been working with a lot of brands that afford me the luxury of trying out more shoes. Like I said, in so many of the videos that I have been making this year or at the end of last year, I do see how accessories are so important to an outfit. Like I said, it can make or break your outfit. And today we are going to be covering the 10 essential summer shoes that you absolutely need in your closet. Although my style is a little bit more on the classic side, if you are more of a trendy person, I will be including uh, a pair or two, I think, that goes across the board for everyone. So I think if your style is a lot more different than mine, I think you can find something in here that would work for you as well. So I think I've rambled on for too long. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow me over there because there I shop with you live on Instagram. So that way you lady don't miss out on anything that I am buying because sometimes it takes longer for the videos to be filmed and I will be trying all the shoes on and if I already have outfits where I've worn the shoes then I'll just include those instead then I won't necessarily be trying them because I think that might be better to show you how I've styled the shoes rather than just me trying it on with just the same dress over and over again. And my dress, by the way, it's from Banana Republic. I absolutely love it. I just hope the neck was a little bit higher because if you are a big bust like myself, then you know you have too much boob poking out. But other than that, I think this dress is so classic. It's linen, of course, and it does have a slit, which you'll be seeing when I am trying this on. But yeah, I was going to do this video standing up in front of my shoe, but I think I do enjoy sitting. So maybe I will just do it sitting there. So the first pair of essential summer shoe is the pretty flat sandals. I am going to say that typically when it comes to flat sandals, I would go with gladiator style sandals. I think that's my preference. Um, I wish I had something cuter to show you ladies, but I am not the biggest fan of flat sandals to be quite honest that's probably why I don't own something that's much cuter like I do like the Valentino Wackstad ones they're like super pretty and I know Aquazura makes some really really beautiful ones so I will include some on the screens for reference but when it comes to my style personally I am more of a um, Greek style flat sandal person those are the gladiator style. They are called the Greer Sandals from Sarah Flint. Um, like I told you ladies, if you order now until the end of June, you can take $100 off your order by using my code. It's Sarah Flint slash BA Rose. A $100 is up until the end of June. After that, it goes back to being $50. So if you do want to get something right now, I would say... Um, I mean, if you've been eyeing something from them, I would say try to get it right now. And I got these in the um, pink ones, which is a limited edition. 
they have with Pinbox where you receive two nail polish with the same colors of the sandals and I absolutely love these I wear these so much it's such good quality it's such a classy pair of sandals um, it's just the material the leather everything is just so smooth so beautiful originally I wanted this in the cognac color but I am a lot happier that I got it in the pink instead of the cognac because typically that's what I would go for so I'm happy I got it in the pink color instead and I got my regular size absolutely love them I'm obsessed with these shoes so if I like the dress that I'm wearing now if I wanted to wear sandals I would wear these because they are super classy another one that I have this one is bitten down I have to take it to the cobbler see if they can glue it as you can see it's like falling apart but these are from mango I don't remember I don't know if you um, if you ladies remember I think these sandals came out back in 20 15 or 16 when gladiator sandal was trending I mean they do trend every summer but that year was the biggest gladiator sandals were like the biggest trend and mango had these and every blogger had these sandals I remember I actually got these when um yeah 2015 because I was in Italy that spring or summer that's where I got these up in Milan because you couldn't find them really anywhere because they were like selling out like hotcakes everyone wanted these gladiator sandals and it's one of the pair of shoes I have not been able to let go um, it's one of the oldest pair of shoes that I have actually if not the no I have some other ones that are very old too it's not really falling apart it's still good the only thing is it's just the glue as you can see this is pulling so I have to take it to the cobbler to have them fix it and again it's in the cream color and then you have the cognac -y leather I don't know if it's with leather but I know mango is known to have good quality although over the last year I think the quality has gone down a bit because I feel like every time that I bought a dress there's there's always problem with the, the thread the buttons and so on quality hasn't been the best over the last year but I know before they had really really good quality stuff so I would highly recommend some gladiator sandals obviously this one is not available anymore but I will leave some link below if you ladies want to check it out so that's all I have for pretty flat sandals I would say if you love flats if you love wearing flat sandals if you're tall and you know you're not like a big heel girl like my wear them although lately I've been enjoying wearing flats quite a lot which is very surprising to me before you could not find me in flats at all I don't remember what I was going to say number two is going to be the pretty flat slide you know in the summertime you want your slides I was never a big fan of slides before until I started finding ones I think it was like too casual for me but over the last couple of years I've gotten more into them and I've bought some that I think are still a little bit classy and so on and also there's a time and place for everything especially I've been going boating a little bit and also picnicking you can't really wear heels and stuff like that I've been enjoying having slides so the pair that I would recommend for a designer is the Hermes ones I absolutely love the Hermes ones if you like the Dior you can get the Dior Dre um, slides or Chanel Chanel has some pretty ones but it's just like a thousand dollars for a pair of slides it's just ridiculous um, I mean although this is still like 650 but still this is more reasonable than a thousand dollars like before tax for some pair of slides but yeah I absolutely love the Hermes one because they are classic they will last ooh okay I need to put some protective on the bottom I don't know what happened but I got this big thing here and this one I did put some protective sole on the bottom but I wanted to show it on camera. I didn't put it in this one. Well, I should have put it before I actually wore the shoes, but I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I wasn't thinking. But yeah, I absolutely recommend the Hermes ones for a designer. If you are not much into designers, you can find some pretty ones. I got these from Zara last year for like 10 or 20 bucks. And this color is so beautiful. There's something about satin. 
um, in a pair of slides that is so chic, so dressy. And I love that this is in a green color because it goes with everything. So if I ever want to wear like a pair of slides that is a little bit more dressy, aside from the Hermes one, I would go with these. Night, if I want to wear a pair of slides, I would go with these. The Hermes ones are more for day slides for me. Although I can wear them at night, but I absolutely love this. I love the rhinestone, although one of them on the right side here fell off. That's what happened when you buy cheap stuff, or maybe it was just like a bad pair. Very upset about that, but you can barely see it. But I think the rhinestone makes it even more classy, and the green color is absolutely, absolutely stunning. And if you like furry ones, I got these when I was in Morocco. I absolutely love this and I also have them in the green color I love this color so much it's so pretty the only thing is this is three sizes too big for me so they kind of like side of my feet a lot uh, but other than that I absolutely love these so these are my rec recommendation for for slide mules but you can get any one that you like or prefer it depends on your preference Again, all these shoes, um, I will leave something similar below because a lot of them were old. I don't have legs for them, you know, they've been sold out. Number three is the block heel sandals. So I think in the summertime, you absolutely need a block heel sandal in your wardrobe, especially if your style is more classic like myself. If you are going somewhere dressy during the daytime, like for tea, something to like a party or whatever it is for brunch. I absolutely recommend these from Sarah Flint. I absolutely love these perfect block sandals, um, 60 by Sarah Flint, and these are in the color Sand Calf. They are neutral, they do come in other colors if you prefer other colors, but for me, nude or neutrals has always been the color that I go for. I absolutely, absolutely love these for during the day. The heel is about 50, no, 60 millimeter tall, about two inches, and they are so perfect. They look so classy, and of course, they have that padding that just make them extremely, extremely comfortable. If you're looking for the most comfortable pair of shoes, you cannot go wrong with Sarah Flint's. Her shoes are the most comfortable out there. Um, I can vouch for that. I now the owner of four pair of their shoes now. Yeah, about for a pair of these shoes. I absolutely love this. is my number one recommendation. Again, if you use my code, you would get $100 off your first order. I highly recommend these. If you're more of a heel girl, I am more of a sling back girl. So I like something that's a little bit low. Because again, style is more classic. But if you're more of a high heel girl, I recommend these by Vince Camuto. These come in other colors as well, so you can get the other color if you want to. But I went for the Konyaki color, and I just love the crack effect detail. It's absolutely stunning. It's so, so beautiful. It just makes your lid. It only gets your leg because it's skin tone light, and it, it's just so, so beautiful. This is a collaboration with Louisa C., with Vince Camuto. I absolutely, absolutely love these. If you are looking for a block pumps, Sendo, I would go with the Parker from Sarah Flint. Oh my God. This is one of the most beautiful pair of shoes that I own. I absolutely love these. They are so comfortable. Like when I wear these, I get so many compliments. I just love the mesh detail. That's giving you more of a retro vintage vibes you know mesh and polka dots I love polka dots so much so you cannot go on these come in black and navy blue so you can pick whatever color that you like but these are called the Parker I will be sure to link them below if you ladies want to check them out but they are absolutely stunning I love the pointy toe because the pointy toe always elongates your feet it makes you look a lot taller so stay away from shoes that are round toe because they just make your feet look awkward and it doesn't really give you the best look so i would say try to go for pointy toe it's more flattering on your feet than round toe but yeah i absolutely love these they are so stunning i also got these pair from richie doll this is kind of like a blush pink but this color doesn't really go well with my skin tone so 
I don't really wear these much. Number four is, well, that was not eight, by the way. Number four is the lace up sandals. Mm, no one else loves a lace up sandal more than I do because they are so flattering. Even if they are flat, flat, they just make your feet look, it's like sex on legs. I, I don't know. There was something about lace up sandals that just, yeah, it just makes your legs feet so attractive sadly i think i sold the white pair that i have last year but um i got my favorite one that i recommend are these from tv these are so they are so sexy so cute even though the heel is barely there they still make your leg look so nice can you imagine if these were a little higher but no i like the low heel this is barely yeah this is barely two inches it's perfect for me and when i bought them that's the color that i wanted the mint green because i have this mint green dress that i always pair with them they just look absolutely beautiful and also i have a lot of white dresses they go so well with all my white dresses unfortunately i don't know they got unglued so i had to send them back to i had to take them to the store and they say they send them to italy to get fixed but I'm not too sure about that because all I see is some glue and this one is coming off a little bit more but I don't get buying these shoes they are absolutely stunning I love them so much they make your feet look so so beautiful so this is kind of like a lace-up sandal for during the day you can wear them at night as well but me personally I would wear these during the day and I do have something from Louise C with Vince Camuto that is a little bit higher it's kind of like the same color family kind of like that mint green this is more like a pistachio color it's so beautiful absolutely stunning i love this it's a little bit higher so tb1 can be for day one and then this could be for night again you can go with whatever color that you like you can go with black if black goes you know look good on your skin tone or if you like to wear more of black me i don't really like to wear a lot of black shoes I think for my wardrobe needs, neutral shoes goes well uh, for me. When I wear black shoes, they just make it look too serious for me. So, which is why I typically go for for these shoes. But yeah, lace up sandals. It's absolutely a need for your summer shoe closet collection. Highly, highly recommend these. Again, you can get them in any color that you like. Number five is the mules. In the summertime, you need some mules sandals. That probably should have been number four. I I was never I was never a fan of mules before, but now I am. I it's just it's still a little bit too trendy for me. But there are some that are absolutely stunning and very classic for your style. The first pair that I will talk about are these from Vince Camuto. So if you want the Bottega look without the Bottega price tag, I highly, highly recommend these. Go half a size bigger. I am a size 6, so I take 36. When it comes to mules, always go half a size bigger if they do have sizes. If not, then you can go a full size. Um, but yeah, I've got these in the... Those are the leche color and they are absolutely absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to wear these outside at night I have in mind the perfect dress that I will be pairing with these again These are neutral. They go with everything in my closet already If you want to try if you have more of a classic style you want to try some trendy shoes I would say the mule when it comes in the summertime. It's probably the shoe to try um, some trendy ones so I cannot wait to wear these. I think these are still very classic. I will be wearing them for a long time. The second pair, this is more of a kind of like sexy. I would wear these to a restaurant at night or even during the day. I absolutely love these. These are from LPA. I would say when it comes to LPA, get your normal size. For some reason, their stuff runs so big. This is so big on me. Um, I don't know why, but you can take your normal size for LPA but for all the other shoes that I'll be talking about go half a size bigger I absolutely love these because the color is so soft so feminine so pretty so cute I absolutely love these these I can wear it to like events dinners 
another pair for Urban's Kamutu or these. Oh my god, when I saw these, I died. I wanted them so badly. They have this kind of like retro style. They are called the Magali. Again, I went half a size bigger. They are absolutely stunning. I've been in need of a white mule sandals for the longest time. And I just love the crystals. Like, I wore them yesterday. What was Sunday? I wore them on Sunday. And when I was in the sun, and you could see them like shining and reflecting off the walls and everything, they were so beautiful. I absolutely love these. Again, these are more of a retro style. Highly recommend them. What I love them. What I love about these are like super dressy. You can wear them during the day if you're going somewhere more dressy and you can also wear them at night. <sighs> love them so much. Everyone love these on me. And the next pair of mules that I'll be talking about which is more classy and also casual are these white mules from Manolo Blahnik. Again, half a size bigger. These are the jean fabric. They are absolutely, absolutely stunning. They have so many sales going on with these shoes right now. So if you wanted to get a pair, now is the time. Now they like about like $300. They are so cheap. So I wish I would have waited to get these because I think I paid $500 for these. And now they like $400 or something. Um, it's only $100, but still. Um, absolutely love these. I just love that it's, you know, two inches. It's low enough that I can just wear this during the day to walk around. Next pair of meals that I recommend are these from um, Vince Camuto. Absolutely love this. This is kind of like a blush thing, but wait until you see the heel. The heel is so cool. I just love that detail here. They're so pretty. These are more like um, casual to, not casual-ish. It's still casual to wear during the day but also you want to wear something that's a little bit high so i highly recommend these these mules for that if you want some more dressy mules again another one from the louise c collaboration with vince camuto or these pink ones these blush pink ones and i really really love the see-through plastic pvc going on here it's absolutely absolutely stunning I love these so much. Every time I wear these, everyone love, love these. So this is to wear during the day if you're wearing something that's a little bit more chic and classy. Like if you're wearing like a nice suit and you want to wear some nice meals, I would say go for these. Number six, it's the sexy heels for nighttime. So in the summer, even in the summertime, you know, we go out. Um, you know, if you're going out to a party or if you're going to some restaurant, you want to wear some sexy high heels. You need a pair of these in the summertime. I highly recommend these from Manolo Bonnet. You know, they don't have to be Manolos, but you can just get something similar to these. These are still called the Paloma heels. I got these for super, super duper cheap for like 120 bucks from the Interim XL, and I absolutely love them. They are the rose gold. They just elongate your legs. They just make your leg look so sexy, so hot. I love these, and you need a pair of these in the summertime at night. And another pair that I would recommend um, for more classic depends on what you're wearing at night these are from Steve Madden they are so stunning um, they are very very minimal not much going on it's just about two strings going around and they are absolutely absolutely beautiful when I wear these my feet just look so good in them and my other pair are probably one of the sexiest pair of shoes that I own these were actually a gift from Deb when I wear these oh my god <sighs> And they are so high. They are not, these are from Stuart Wiseman's. They are, yeah, these shoes are probably like six years old. I, I think I remember when Dev gave me these as a Christmas gift. I don't wear them often because I don't really wear black shoes. But when I do, I enjoy them. When I'm on, you will see they look absolutely stunning. It's like sex on the legs. Love, love these. Number seven is the Ballet Flats. Pumps. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love this Mary Jane from Wathies. If you ladies don't know anything about Wathies, they are a company that's leading the sustain, not leading, but their whole ethos or their whole thing is about being sustainable and also their shoes are made from, re from recycled plastic bottles. You can actually wash them 
and they're like the most comfortable flats that I've ever worn or worn my entire life. My friend actually recommended them to me last year and I bought the big cat. I love these shoes so much. Whenever it rains, these are the shoes that I go for or whenever I am wearing something that requires some some ballet flats. Those are the shoes that I go for. And they came out with the Mary Jane in the rosebud color and I fell in love. Um, I, will live, I will leave a link below if you ladies want to check them out. But I absolutely, absolutely love these. Highly recommend them. They are so pretty. Their shoes do run small, so I would say get half a size bigger than what your normal size is. I'm a six, so I go six and a half. Again, I absolutely love these and also during the summertime sometimes you do wear you do need to wear some you know ballet flats it depends on your outfit or where you're going and so on so these are the ones that I recommend from Rathies also I've got another pair of pink ones these are a little bit more fun also because the back is open these are from Tabitha Simmons she's a designer here, I think she yeah, I think she's here in New York. These shoes from a simple sale originally I think they were like four hundred dollars and I ended up getting them for a hundred something. So I absolutely love these again. Always go for the printy toe flats because they elongate your feet, they make your leg look so so nice and so sexy. You do not want the round toe stuff, it just makes you look stuffy. I love these. They're like a blush pink. I love them. I do wear them sometimes to go to work. And another pair that I've had for years are these red ones. They're like lace-up flats from Topshop. I also have them in black, which I hardly ever wear. I got the red one. Again, sometimes I do wear these. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely love these. So I would recommend some lace-up ones or the Rathies ones. Number eight is a pair of espadrilles. In the summer times, you need a pair of espadrilles. I hate wedges. They're like one of the ugliest type of shoe on the planet. But for some reason, I think when it comes to wedges, the espadrille is the way to go. And a brand that I absolutely love is Castaner. I think that's how you say it. You can find these on the Tacorte or any of those high-end places that you get shoes. I got these two years ago. I took them to Mexico. They are super comfortable. I think this is the 85. You can get something that's a little bit shorter. But I went for these. They're super comfortable. I can wear them all day long. They are super cute when you go into the beach and you still want to wear something that's a little bit more that's high heel because if you wear something you know high heel going to the beach then you look like you are trying too hard so when it comes to like going to like the beach or like the cabana or something like that like when you're in Tulum um, if you're staying in Tulum you're staying at a boutique hotel and then you have to go to um, to those other hotels for lunch or the beach for the day I think you absolutely need a pair of espadrilles to wear with um, your dress or you know your bikini but something over it I think this is the type of shoe that you absolutely absolutely need in the summertime I highly recommend Castaner I'm actually um, thinking about getting myself a pair of the yellow ones and the mint green one the mint green would be so cute but I think I'm gonna go with the yellow ones um, instead. They did have this one in the cream color, which was the one that I was going to get originally, but last minute I decided to get them in the blush pink. And they are so beautiful, and I still have so much sand stuck in them from Mexico. I took textiles, I think espadrilles is the way to go for going to the beach. Again, you can get something that's a bit shorter. Absolutely recommend these. This one I am a little conflicted about. It's uh, number nine. It's going to be the white trainers or white sneakers. Um, I know some of you, and I could see sometimes it's good to wear sneakers sometimes if you don't want to show your feet. Depends on what you're wearing. If you're traveling, I recognize there is a need for some white sneakers or some sneakers in general, but I would recommend going for a white one. These were gifted to me at an event that I went to. As you can see, they're still in the box because I don't plan on wearing them ever. But I do see sometimes when you can wear white sneakers with dresses, they look absolutely beautiful. I did them in the past, and it's not a trend that I'm interested in trying ever again. But I'll absolutely wear these sneakers to travel. Absolutely. If I'm going on a 
I'm running a book day. I cannot see myself wearing sneakers or anything, but I, I think sometimes you're going to need it in the summertime. Depends on the activity that you are doing. If you like to wear sneakers, then I absolutely recommend the Super Gab because this is the style that I would go for. Like super chic, super classic. Um, I love the battery dye where I was last, but I was talking about the white trainers. It's number nine on the list for um, the sh what part of the 10 pair of summer shoe essentials again i think it's definitely needed in your wardrobe but it's good to have them on deck if you absolutely need them i think sometimes if you go boating or something you may need to get these or you may want to wear something like that and also if you like going hiking or something and you want to wear a beautiful dress or maybe you have your other shoes in your bag and you want something that's good for working in the wild and so on so it's good to have a pair of sneakers handy so i highly recommend these from super guy because they're super chic they are super comfortable these are definitely too big for me 37 i'm a 36. they do look cute though i'm not going to lie they look super cute but yeah i don't know sneakers just make my feet look so weird i don't know i just feel so weird in sneakers so i see the need for it in the summertime um if you want to wear some sneakers then it's the way to go number 10 or the last one is a pair of nude pumps whatever nude color goes with your skin tone i would go for that i think a nude pair of pumps is absolutely needed in the summertime especially if you're going to a wedding and you want to wear pumps I would say summertime is probably not the time to be wearing black pumps. So uh, me personally, I wear nude pumps with all my outfits, um, all of them. But yeah, I think you know, go for there are different different varieties of nudes. Sometimes it's good to it's sometimes it's good to go to the store so you can actually see what goes with your skin tone. I mean, you can always order it online and return it if you have to. My favorite one, it's actually completely done. I had to throw it out. I have yet to find a good replacement. But I do have these other ones from Zara from like seven years ago. I absolutely love these. They are they are more of like a peachy pump color. Me personally, I like to go for a suede. And I see the need for a nice pair of pumps, you know, if you need to go to somewhere that's more formal during the day, like I said, to a wedding, church, whatever other occasion is happening, then I think a nude pair of pumps is absolutely needed in the summertime. But the ones that I would recommend are the ones from Sarah Flint, the perfect pump because these are super, super comfortable. This is a 100 millimeter, and when you wear these, it's like wearing flats. You it's like the extra arch support here. It's phenomenal. It's one of my favorite pair of shoes. I just wish they may had made it in a nude color, in the suede. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'll check to see. Which is why I think I went for this color because. I think the nude one was in the leather they didn't have it in the suede for for me i prefer nudes in suede because i think it looks more chic than the leather ones so that's just my preference when it comes to to pumps i prefer suede over leather although i absolutely love these highly recommend these from sarah flint you can get the leather in the nude color if you want to but i went for the suede color and more in the taupe color these are very versatile as well you can wear them with anything but i'm sure you ladies would have a pair of nude pumps in your wardrobe that you can wear with the more formal things that you have to do during the day in the summertime i also have these blush pinks from charles david that i have for almost yeah maybe eight years or something like that i hardly ever wear these because i don't think they are the most comfortable but if I would need something that is super new to wear for red dress right now to go um, somewhere more formal, I would go for these as well. So I highly recommend um, a little variety of nudes in your wardrobe if you want something that's more in the blush pink or if you want something that's more in the nude color that matches your skin tone. I know there are a ton of companies that have shoes that matches your skin tone for darker skinned women like myself, so I would uh, leave some links below for you to check them out. Number 11, white shoes. Nah, I'm joking, there's no number 11. But if there were, I would say white shoes. You absolutely need white shoes in the summertime. It's mandatory that you do have a pair of white shoes, um, a pair of white sandals in your wardrobe. 
thanks everyone so much for watching let me know which pair was your favorite and if you think I am missing a pair that's essential to have in your wardrobe for the summertime I think this video kind of like covers all the essential pair of shoes that you need for the summertime if I am missing one which is possible please let me know down below and also you can let me know which pair was your favorite and which ones are you currently missing in your wardrobe that you are planning and adding to your wardrobe and yeah make sure to follow me on instagram it's at dadu chic it's across the board everything dadu chic i just make it so easy for everyone to remember thank you again so much for watching i will catch you in my next video bye bye now time to try on all these shoes omg bye